lot of people asking us what is driving the Gympie market at the moment. So a number of things. I mean, look, it all started to happen just before COVID last year anyway, in around about April 2020, where things started to move because it became an affordability issue for people that just couldn't buy into the Sunshine Coast or Brisbane or Gold Coast markets anymore. So they started looking further north. So we started seeing the immigration, the population immigration around about then. And then of course, when COVID, when COVID kicked off, unfortunately, but the benefit to the region has been that um, people have seen the value for money that they can get here. And these gorgeous Queenslanders that you'll see behind us and all around us, they are very, very attractive options for people. They can buy into the market. They, they've got large blocks to yep. subdivide um, potentially down the, the track, but lots of land, lots of space, and that's what this whole region offers. We are over 11,000 square kilometres spread out from the very north uh, of, of Glenwood uh, and Ganelda out that way, all the way down to the Pomona Kinkin border, out west to the Mary Valley, and then we've got out east to uh, Rainbow Beach and Tin Can Bay, so it's a massive region, and we're in a bit of a, what do you call it, John? The Springfield Dome, <laughs> unaffected from COVID. Touch wood. No, oh, that's not wood. Touch wood. But we've got this beautiful <clears throat> big area around us. It's a buffer, which is essentially all farmland. So we, we do manage to stay out of those hot zones. Other things that are driving the market here are huge infrastructure projects. So we've got the, the highway bypass yep. from uh, Curra to Karoi, and that's also now been approved to go another step further far north to Harvey Bay is what yep. we've been told. We've got the we, solar farm yep. that's coming up. It's uh, one of the, the biggest solar farms in Australia that's uh, just going to be just west of Gympie. So that's uh, another huge infrastructure project. Yep, so there'll be like 900 employees coming to town and they're already here looking for accommodation as well. Uh, we've got the Lake Barumba hydroelectricity project which will be kicking off. So two of the largest renewable energy projects in Australia yep. right here in Little Old Gympie. So, uh, Manufacturing companies are now looking at getting out of the larger cities because of lockdown issues and it affecting their businesses. Manufacturing wanting to come back to Australia, but they need the room to do it. So, hello, yep. we've got all the room in the world. Um, the fact that, again, it's still affordable compared to other parts of the country where you can still buy houses for under 400,000 yep. on nice big blocks of land, or you can do established uh, properties with you know, nice big quarter acre blocks. We've got house and land packages. You can still get a block of land here for under 200,000, yep. which is pretty rare mm. in Southeast Queensland. So it's, it's Gympie's time in the sun, but essentially catching up with the rest of Southeast Queensland. Uh, the market here has, hasn't been as buoyant as what Sunshine Coast has, but now it's just that ripple effect and it's Gympie's time to shine. So it's a um, fantastic opportunity to still be able to get into the market, as Janzi was saying, at an affordable price, and just enjoy that growth that's going to happen here. Because once all of those projects are complete, or they're nearing completion, you know, we're already seeing the, the, the population coming, and more will come as that, that infrastructure improves. So if you'd like to know more and perhaps get uh, property appraisals, report, market reports, jump onto our website, enter your details, we'll put you in the database. We have quite often, we will have previews and sneak peeks of properties that don't even make it to the market as well. A lot of that happening at the moment. So if you wanna be in the front seat and you want to get into the market now, well, you still can. Yep, give us a call, get in contact. We'd uh, love to speak to you soon.